Hello. You're watching my to-do about something today, and I'm Donna. I'm glad that you're here. You're in the right place if you're wanting to watch a little bit of the Every Bit Counts Challenge. Today, my challenge will consist of days four, five, and six. I am out here today on day four, harvesting all of the rest of the elderberries that I can find. There's a few way up in the tree. I'm going to leave that for the birds. I think I got most of what I can harvest completely. Donald and I have har harvested all that we can harvest. There are a few there at the top, but we're going to just go ahead and let those be for the birds and count this harvest as the, uh, the most uh, that we can probably harvest this year. Can't resist a beautiful butterfly on the way back into the house. Well, this is the last of the harvest of the elderberries. I've got to lay these out on a flat surface so that they can dry. And the way we usually do that is Donald likes to take them off the stem and put them in these flat tray boxes like this. So that's probably what I'll do today. And I'll show you some that's already here. Now, sometimes I just lay stem and everything in there. But Donald says that, that it makes it harder to um, get the berries off. So, I haven't got these off yet. But I'll be getting these off of the vines. I mean, off of the stems today. Saving what elderberries are in here. I'll be getting all of these off and putting them in here to dry. And saving the last of the elderberry harvest for this year. Now this brings us to what we've actually got dried and taken off the stems. I weighed these and it's a, it's a little over two pounds of elderberries here. Now they didn't get very big this year. We got kind of small elderberries and then when they dried they were even smaller. And that was because the inconsistent amount of rain that we had in growing the elderberries this year. Now I'm pretty sure that these along with what I've got left from last year will be perfect for what we need this year. We make our elderberry syrup every year, at least two gallons. I use a lot of elderberries in tea. I love that. To, I love to add it to my teas. And there are other things that we do with our elderberries. Well, I'm just going to put these that I've got here into this jar so that I can access it easily whenever I need to get to the berries. Nothing real fancy. And as I go through them, I may pick out some stems, some things that I missed that the first cleaning. These are good and dried. Up. I know we've probably left most of these out for at least three weeks. So they, they're good and dry. You don't ever want to store any that has any moisture. You want to make sure they're good and dehydrated so that they'll keep in your storage container. I think the ones that we, we haven't dried yet uh, may add about another pound. So we may have all one total of this year. I think we're going to have about three pounds of uh, dehydrated elderberries. I don't know if they're all going to fit in this container or not. So... This did fill up this whole container, and I like these kind of containers because it makes it easy if I want to use for tea. This is last year's, and I had maybe, you know, just maybe a third of a cup or less to put in here. So I'll use this cup up first, and then I'll use these. 
these are from last year this is what we had last year bigger harvest last year bigger berries and this is this year's harvest so there we go we've got another year's supply of elderberries so that's day four of preserving we're drying we're picking drying and preserving our elderberries for the year i'm going to make a cup of tea here this is just a black tea bag and some elderberries so i'm going to make a cup of tea while i preserve the next thing on for day five Now day five, I'm gonna preserve some eggs. The hens are laying really good now. We've got plenty of eggs. We've got more than we can eat. Even the grandkids, they eat a lot of them. And me and Donald love eggs, but we just have an abundance of eggs right now. So I'm gonna take these eggs and freeze them. I've marked on some just Ziploc, uh, Ziploc baggies that I'm gonna put six in eggs in each quart freezer bag and that's as simple as it can be so I'll just break six eggs into this bowl now these eggs are all different sizes and when you cook a lot you kind of know the size of small medium and large so when I go to take these out to use them I'll just estimate two eggs, the size of two eggs. And here's number six. Now I'll just go ahead and whip these up. Just put them in a marked freezer bag. Get as much air as I possibly can out of these bags. And lay them down flat in the freezer. And then when I need eggs, I can either put a bag of these in the refrigerator to have them, or I can get out and just break off a frozen piece about the size of whatever, however many eggs that I need. I know that half of this would be three eggs, a quarter of it would probably be about two eggs or a third of it and so that's what I'll do I'll do this over and over again until I get all of these eggs that I've got right here frozen I'm going to put the eggs in here in this box. That way when I close it, they'll be all frozen flat. And then when I open it back up, I can just, they'll be frozen and I can put them in the freezer as needed. Here's day six. Day six is really simple too. It's a really simple put up. I have flash frozen these blueberries. And I am going to label a bag. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill up the bags until I get all the blueberries in freezer bags. And then I'll have a stack of blueberries to put into the freezer. Donald picked these. These will be really good this winter to make blueberry muffins, blueberry pancakes, blueberry syrup, different things. Again, I just do the same thing. Try to get out as much air as I can. And go ahead and seal them up. And I'll put them back in the freezer. And then I can just take out a little bit if I need just a little bit to top something like yogurt. 
or in a fruit salad or something, and I can use as many as I'd like out of the bag with them being fresh, uh, flash frozen, and they're not all clumped together in one big clump. We love blueberries. We love the antioxidants. The polyphenols that are in blueberries. We know they're a superfood. So I think there are probably maybe maybe three or four quarts here. Definitely worth preserving. Some of these blueberries are bigger than others. I think they're mainly rabbit rabbit side blueberries. Looks like there's gonna be four quarts. Losing some. That concludes day number six. Just simply freezing some blueberries for future recipes. I thank you for joining me of days four, five, and six of the Every Bit Counts Challenge, putting up just a little bit every day for uh, these last three days. I have went to the orchard, so I've got some things in the, to show you in the next few days of the Every Bit Counts Challenge. But I sure appreciate you being here and uh, just just seeing what I put up when I can. I try to put something up each day. There's little bits here and there. Not hard to do around here, especially during garden season. But I thank you for joining me. And like always, until next time.